Let's talk about why you should get an Xbox Series S. It's really hard for me to say that without laughing. There are reasons to pick up an Xbox Series S instead of an Xbox Series X. It's really hard to say that. But as I'm going over the reasons that you should buy an Xbox Series S, you may realize the Xbox Series S may not be for you. So whichever you you are in this video as a viewer, I hope you enjoy this video on whether or not the Xbox Series S is for you because some people out there, this console is, is going to be great for. But I wanna make sure that whoever gets it is making an informed decision and that they're happy with their purchase. Man, I sound like a Microsoft shill. I have been making fun of the Xbox Series S for, for quite a while uh, leading up to, to launch, but it has its perks. The Xbox Series S and the Xbox Series X are very similar consoles in regards to their CPU. They run fast, they have a very fast hard drive. Uh, the differences are twofold, actually threefold, but I'm gonna make this very easy for people to understand. There is no disk drive in the Xbox Series S. That's one. Number two, it has considerably less video capability. Now, I can go into the reasons for that. I can go into the architecture. I can go into what it is. I'm not going to do that in this video. Essentially, they put a GPU, a graphics processor, into the Xbox Series S that can do okay. It does all right, but it's not going to do 4K60. It's not going to be a full next-gen experience but it will play the same games. You're going to get the same load speeds. You're going to get the same quick resume. You're going to get the same snappiness of the, of the menus and everything that you're getting with an Xbox Series X, but you won't get 4K. Um, you'll get, hold on, you won't get 4K gameplay. Let's talk about gameplay first. You're not going to get as as great of graphics uh, in this in this it's not just 4K, you're probably not going to get ray tracing, or if you do, you're gonna get a very scaled down version of that. The graphics aren't gonna be quite as good, quite as enhanced. It's not going to be quite as next gen as the Xbox Series X. It's still going to play the same games, it's still going to be good, it's just not 4K60, 4K120. Uh, if you have a 1080p TV, 1080p uh, 60, what have you, uh, if you don't have a 4K TV yet, this is fine. If, you, uh, if this is a, a secondary console, let's say you play more PlayStation or you play a lot of, of uh, PC gaming and you wanted a console uh, to have in the living room, this is fine. It's, it's just not next gen to me. If you're getting a console for, uh, you know, that's a secondary console or it's a console for your kids, this is fine. Your kids' rooms may probably have a 1080p TV. They don't have 4K. And by kids, I, I mean like say under 12 or 13, because then they're gonna to start to be scrutinizing uh, the, the tech and they'll talk to their friends about what it is and it may not be the best and brightest, but it plays the same games. Not having a disk drive means that all your games, if you do have an Xbox One, all your games that have a disk do not come over with you. There is no redemption program where you can trade in games to get a, to get a code that could be kind of cool, but um, that would be abused. So. If you have Xbox One games, then anything that's on a disc does not come with you when you get an Xbox Series S. But if you have digital games, if you have Game Pass, all of that comes with you. All of that's backwards compatible. This is a great console. This is a great console for, for someone who's playing more casually. This is a great console for someone who, uh, who plays, like I said, casual gaming and wants to play media. This console does do 4K HDR media streaming. So it's not 4K gameplay, but you can watch 4K Netflix with it. So it can upgrade what you've, what are you? So if you play media on your Xbox One right now and you move to an Xbox Series S, then the media will move uh, with you. But if you have an Xbox One X, don't, don't replace it with the S. Don't replace it with the Series S, but you could get it in addition to don't don't really don't do that so like i said the the series s is for some people and it may be right for you this may be the right console for you also not having a disk drive is great because you don't hear the disk drive you don't hear the very loud disk drive that's on the xbox series x and the playstation 5 
that kicks on when it's installing games or when it's checking to verify the disk that's in the system is the disk that authorizes the game that you're playing because everything's installed on your system. If you have an Xbox Series S, you don't have that problem. Same with a PlayStation 5 Digital. It's quiet. It runs. It's fine. It plays all your backwards compatible games. So if you're going from an Xbox, let's say you didn't have an Xbox One, Xbox Series S is fine. If you're a, like I said, if you're a casual gamer and you don't need that 4K 60, this is fine. Uh, you're going to be able to play the Xbox 360 games on it. You're going to be able to be able to play Xbox One games. Game Pass stuff comes over, and all of the Xbox exclusives are going to come to Xbox Series S as well. So, if that appeals to you, and a $300 price point appeals to you, Xbox Series S may be for you, but it may not. So word of warning, that's what the Xbox Series S can and cannot do. Um, be informed, make the right decisions, and I hope you have fun in gaming. Take care.